Great to have you with us. I'm Joe Donlan, a former top judge in Cook County, now ordered to pay more than a million dollars to the family of a World War II veteran. Patricia Martin, who sat on the bench for decades, was in charge of handling his money, but his family and the state claim she pocketed nearly all of it. CBS 2's Chris Ty is always investigating and has the newly released details on how investigators say she did it. Now looking back, I realize that I was a part of history. I didn't make it, but I was a part of it. Early in life, Oscar Wilkerson was a civil rights pioneer as a Tuskegee Airman. Later in life, he'd spend his final days at this Orland Park Senior Living Center, where he trusted his finances to a relative with a trustworthy track record. We had over 40,000 children in foster care today. Patricia Martin was a judge for 24 years, retiring as the top judge in Cook County's juvenile court system in 2020. One month before stepping down from the bench, she stepped up to power of attorney, helping manage Wilkerson's bank, 401k, and Social Security accounts. CBS2 has learned that the state's Supreme Court has now begun looking into what she did with that money. This complaint filed by the Attorney Registration and Disciplinary Commission alleges she used at least $246,000 of funds without his authority for her own personal purposes to purchase cryptocurrency that she held in her own name and over which she maintained exclusive control, emptying his accounts to the point the assisted living facility had not been paid. With disbarment on the line, the state says she has not responded to their calls for clarity. Want to do something, you got to stick with it. In February, Wilkerson died. Before his passing, his attorneys took Martin to court. And two weeks ago, due to the defendant's continued unresponsiveness, a Cook County judge awarded Wilkerson's estate over $1.1 million from Martin, three times what she was to have taken. The disciplinary commission says she did reply to that lawsuit where she admitted that she had wrongfully assumed control over Wilkerson's property, that she had no authority to use his funds for any purposes other than for his benefit and that she had intentionally deprived Wilkerson of funds to which he was entitled. We reached out over the phone and visited the former judge's home where she told CBS2 she had no comment. We've also reached out to Wilkerson's attorney and others who worked on his behalf for comment but haven't heard back. As for the state's attorney disciplinary commission, they say Martin has two choices. She can either accept their findings or fight them. Either path could end in the disbarment, though, for the person whose judgment was led to oversee the state's most vulnerable kids for years. In the Loop, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News.